Wallabies are fascinating creatures that are native to Australia and are known for their bouncy hops, soft fur, and unique social behavior. Get ready to hop into their world as we explore the different species of wallabies, the physical features, diet, and communication methods of these amazing marsupials. We'll also take a closer look at wallaby babies, or joeys, and learn how they develop and grow inside their mother's pouch. So, join us on this exciting journey to learn more about wallabies and gain a new appreciation for these adorable animals. How big do wallabies get? Wallabies are small to medium-sized, closely related to kangaroos. These fascinating creatures come in many different shapes and sizes, but they generally range in length from about 1.5 to 6 feet and can weigh anywhere from 10 to 80 pounds. That's about the size of a large dog. Despite their relatively small size, wallabies are known for their impressive physical abilities, including their agility and speed. In fact, they can run up to 30 miles per hour in short bursts, which is pretty impressive for a creature of their size. It's worth noting that the size of wallabies can vary depending on the species. For example, the smallest species of wallaby, the musky rat kangaroo, is only about 6 inches long and weighs less than a pound, while the largest species, the red kangaroo, can grow up to 6.5 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. What do wallabies eat? Wallabies are herbivorous that feed on a wide range of vegetation. They have a varied diet that includes grasses, leaves, and other plant materials such as bark, flowers, and fruit. Their diet changes depending on the season and availability of food. During the winter months, wallabies feed on dry grasses and leaves. As spring approaches, they shift their diet to new plant growth, such as young shoots and leaves. During the summer, they focus on grasses, which are abundant and high in nutrients. During the fall, they eat more bark and browse, as well as fruit that is in season. Wallabies have a unique digestive system that allows them to extract maximum nutrition from their food. Their stomachs are divided into several compartments, including a large fermenting chamber where tough plant material is broken down. Wallabies are highly adaptable and can survive on a range of vegetation. Their varied diet helps them to stay healthy and thrive in a variety of habitats. Where do wallabies live? Wallabies are native to Australia and its surrounding islands. These herbivorous animals have a distinctive hopping gait and are related to kangaroos. Wallabies can be found in various habitats across Australia, including forests, grasslands, and rocky areas. Some of the common species of wallabies include the agile wallaby, the red-necked wallaby, and the swamp wallaby. Agile wallabies are found in the northern regions of Australia, inhabiting rocky terrain and open grasslands. Red-necked wallabies are mostly found in the eastern regions, and they are known to reside in dense forests and shrublands. On the other hand, the swamp wallaby inhabits wetland regions of southeastern Australia. The wallaby's habitat determines its behavior and lifestyle. For instance, some species of wallabies that live in more populated areas have become accustomed to human presence and are more likely to be seen around residential neighborhoods. In contrast, those living in more remote regions are often more elusive and challenging to spot. Wallabies can be found in a wide range of habitats across Australia, from the northern rocky regions to the wetland areas in the southeast. Understanding the wallaby's habitat can help us appreciate and conserve these unique animals. Are wallabies endangered? Some species of wallabies are considered endangered due to habitat loss and hunting. The brush-tailed rock wallaby is one of the most critically endangered wallaby species, with fewer than 1,000 remaining in the wild. Habitat loss is a significant factor contributing to the wallaby's declining population. Human activities such as deforestation and urbanization have led to the destruction of wallabies' natural habitat, forcing them to compete for food and resources. Additionally, hunting and predation by invasive species have also taken a toll on wallaby populations. Conservation efforts are crucial in protecting endangered wallaby species. 
Some initiatives include habitat restoration, captive breeding programs, and the implementation of conservation laws and regulations. These efforts aim to conserve and protect wallabies and their habitats, preventing further decline and ensuring their survival for future generations. Can wallabies be kept as pets? While it is legal to keep some species of wallabies as pets in some places, it is not recommended. Wallabies require specialized care, and their care can be challenging and expensive. Wallabies are social animals and require significant social interaction. In captivity, they can become lonely and depressed without proper socialization. Wallabies require a specialized diet that includes a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, which can be difficult to obtain and prepare. Furthermore, wallabies can become aggressive as they mature, especially males. This aggression can result in injuries to both the wallaby and their owners. These animals require specialized care, a specialized diet, and significant social interaction. What is the lifespan of a wallaby? The lifespan of a wallaby can vary depending on the species, but they typically live between 5 and 15 years in the wild. The size and species of a wallaby can also affect their lifespan. Smaller species like the agile wallaby generally live shorter lives than larger species like the red-necked wallaby. In captivity, wallabies can live longer than their wild counterparts, with some individuals living up to 20 years. Various factors can affect the lifespan of wallabies, including predation, disease, and habitat loss. As with many animals, the lifespan of a wallaby can also be influenced by its diet and overall health. How fast can wallabies run? Wallabies are known for their distinctive hopping gait and agility, making them some of the fastest animals in the world. They can run at high speeds to avoid predators and cover vast distances to find food and water. The exact speed of wallabies varies depending on the species and their size. However, they can generally run at a speed of up to 30 miles per hour. This impressive speed is due to their powerful hind legs, which they use to propel themselves forward in long leaps or bounds. Wallabies are not only fast but also incredibly agile. They can make sharp turns and sudden changes in direction, allowing them to navigate through their environment quickly and efficiently. Their speed and agility make wallabies an essential part of their ecosystem, helping them evade predators and survive in their natural habitat. These fascinating creatures have adapted to their environment, making them an integral part of the unique biodiversity of Australia and its surrounding islands. Do wallabies have predators? While wallabies have a unique hopping gait and can be quite agile, they still face threats from predators. Several animals in Australia prey on wallabies, including dingoes, foxes, and large birds of prey. Dingoes are wild dogs that are considered one of the top predators of wallabies. They are found in most regions of Australia and have a keen sense of smell, making them efficient hunters. Foxes, which are also introduced predators, prey on young and weak wallabies. Additionally, large birds of prey such as eagles and owls have been known to take down wallabies, particularly juveniles. Despite these threats, wallabies have adapted to avoid predation. They have excellent senses, including keen hearing and vision, and can sense danger from a distance. They are also able to hop quickly, making them difficult to catch. How do wallabies reproduce? Wallabies have a unique reproductive system. Female wallabies have two uteri and can give birth to two joeys at different stages of development. The female's reproductive cycle is triggered by environmental factors such as rainfall and food availability. After mating, the female wallaby carries the fertilized eggs in both uteri. One embryo develops into a joey, which is born after only 33 to 38 days of gestation. The newborn joey is tiny, hairless, and blind, and immediately crawls to the mother's pouch to continue its development. The second embryo remains dormant in the second uterus until the first joey becomes more independent. A joey is the term used to describe a baby wallaby. 
Once the first joey is large enough to leave the pouch, the second embryo begins to develop and the female becomes pregnant again. The second joey is born several months later and joins its sibling in the pouch. Wallaby joeys spend several months in the mother's pouch before they emerge and become more independent. In conclusion, wallabies have a unique reproductive system that allows them to give birth to two joeys at different stages of development. The joey's development and growth occur within the mother's pouch, making them vulnerable to predators and environmental factors. Understanding wallaby reproduction can help us appreciate and protect these fascinating animals. Thanks for hopping along with us on this journey to explore the world of wallabies. We hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing creatures and gained a new appreciation for their unique characteristics and behaviors. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.